Hey, you got any mini SNESs? Well, I didn't find any uh, mini SNES in the States, but the good news, back home, there's tons of switches now. Saw this stuff in Champlain, New York. This is like jet fuel, red-eye coffee. Coffee with a kick. And this is Flea Market Adventures 14, 1980s toys and a bad fur day? First stop in Plattsburgh is a pawn shop that I frequent pretty often, like maybe once every other month. Uh, game prices fluctuate. Sometimes I'll walk in, they'll be two or three bucks. Sometimes they're six to seven. This month they were six to seven. This pawn shop is huge. It's like an old factory, first floor and the basement, completely packed. And what's good is everything's on consignment, so uh, the inventory is always rotated. And you know, again, we come here once, you know, every other month and they've always got different items in here so one month it could be horrible the next month you could build a video game collection what I really like hunting in the states especially all these uh, like the whole strip is pawn shops is you have to look in every corner so we spent like a good hour and a half in here just really enjoying our afternoon and every shelf could just have a variety of items Now, the good and the bad of consignment on a big store like this. Now, what's great is you always see new items, there's always different sellers, and you know, for the most part, it's always good deals. But, you don't really have anyone to haggle with because each booth is different. They have a booth number and a price on the tag. So, if you find something that you like, you can't really haggle with the cashier, they just quote the price. Now for these, I confess I have no idea, so KISS and Record Collectors, uh, should I have bought these? They were about 10 bucks each. To me they look real and they say 70s on them, but you can't really tell. So that'll be our question of the week. 10 bucks each for these KISS records, 70s. Should I have gotten them? Yes or no? Dal, should I have gotten them? Huh. That's fast. 25 for an Xbox. <laughs> uh, 5 bucks for Bubsy. 5 bucks for Madden. 5 bucks for Tecmo Bowl. 5 bucks for Tecmo Bowl is not horrible. I'm getting tired of seeing this shit everywhere. So I've done horror videos for the last two or three years. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get one done this year, but uh, I'm going to try my best. If not, uh, I hope this little clip tides you over for the Halloween season in the month of October. Sometimes I pretend I'm the only kid left in the world. Someday I will be the child of the Lord. Someday I will be I found the SNES Mini! Just kidding, there wasn't any. But I did find some good stuff in clearance at uh, the Target. These are Gears of War figures. This is uh, Kate and JD. Always check those clearance. And then right there is uh, a bunch of anime stuff in Walmart, which is a pretty good selection. I was surprised because we don't have this, at least not the Walmart uh, back home near my house. It was uh, pretty impressive. <laughs> Thank you. 
So Saturday morning, Dallas and I got the baby up. We decided we'll go to Santa Stash. This is probably going to be our last hurrah. This is the day before October, the last day of September. And right away, I I wanted to stay optimistic the whole time because there were cars parked along the side here. And you'll see in this next parking lot that there are cars, but it's definitely smaller than we're, what we're used to. So I wasn't sure if we were going to find a lot, a little bit. It was actually a really good day. The weather was perfect. We had a great time. But uh, you'll see that there's quite a few empty spaces already. October will have a few good weekends. Maybe November if there's no snow, but then that's going to be it until March. For me personally, I don't really pick them up, but I've noticed that vinyl records and VHS have become collectible again. So at St. Stash, it's always easy to find both. Hey look, Pink Panther car. But yeah, it's like a dollar a vinyl record and you saw that sign, it's five VHS for one. And here's another example, just stacks of VHS. Twenty dollars for a Gibson Guitar Hero for the PlayStation. Uh, I didn't see the plug He's for it. Yeah, yeah, Here we have Soundwave. Uh, uh, this was an awesome booth. Back in time, 85 I think they're called. You can find them on Facebook. I actually got a couple of good deals from them. There's their sign. Yeah, back in time, 85. Check them out on Facebook if you're in the Montreal area. Really cool stuff. The guy hooked me up with quite a deal. We've been collecting dolls and furniture for our daughter, Arcumbella, and uh, we've been buying a lot of Cabbage Patch for her. Cabbage Patch usually go for, for what we buy between 3 and $5, and I'd say she's got about 25 of them already. Um, you know, after all this, I hope she likes Cabbage Patch when she's older and you know, plays with toys. Right across from the Cabbage Patch, this woman had a two or three good tables worth of uh, toys. Uh, most of the Transformers were missing a piece or two or a weapon, but I got four or five really good ones for, I think, $22, and that Unicron that I'm holding right there, it's from 2000, 2003. Well, he's massive. <laughs> That's a lot of tape. Look at it. I'm seeing these modified trailers more and more at this particular flea market. I don't know if somebody mods them around here or what, but they're they're pretty cool. Pretty standard, five dollars in this game. Skylanders. Now this was a good table. A lot of box Nintendo games. There you see I had uh, Harlem Globetrotters. I picked Harlem Globetrotters up for two reasons. One, it was one of the only two games that were the cheapest at $15. And two, I don't have Harlem Globetrotters in my uh, NES collection so I wanted to pick that up. Now you can see there's a lot of good box games here. Uh, the boxes are in pretty good shape if you think about it. Uh, they had Kirby's in there, uh, Magic Darts to Earth, Tetris. They had a few good things I was looking through. He had some uh, SNES games, uh, a few boxed uh, Super Nintendos, uh, Game Cubes. Uh, I think he had a couple of Game Boys uh, behind his table. He had a box of some uh, quote unquote good stuff. He had uh, uh, Luna, a couple of different games. Uh, I think I got most of it. But uh, I'll, I'll let you look at the rest of this table. I'll shut up for a bit. But look, see, like a box conquers, and this was the bad box he had. 
He had uh, an even better, almost practically perfect buck. That one right there with River City Ransom, Mario All-Stars. He had a lot of great boxes, but I had to put together crazy bundles just to get a little bit of a deal. You'll see that I find uh, a Darkwing Duck on NES, and I treated myself. I picked that up. But uh, yeah, I had to put a lot, a lot of stuff together. So, you know, it goes without saying bundle. But sadly, I hope you didn't think uh, that thumbnail was clickbait, because I did find a box Conkers. I just... If you get a chance to buy it, $200 if you're curious. Hunting goal complete. I had them as a child and I always wanted to get all four of them again as an adult for my game room. I finally found the uh, Para Koopa Trooper. He was the only one I was missing for the McDonald's Happy Meal toys, you know, back in uh, 89, 90 for Mario 3. So, you know, I had multiples of all the other ones and I finally found him. Uh, you know, I'm happy about that. That's something that I wanted. Doesn't this table just make you want a Pepsi? Knockoff mini NES for 40 bucks at the flea market? You're damn right. I think that says it all. Arkham stroller is packed. Bottom basket and the handles full of bags. Just heading down the last couple of rows. Really beautiful Saturday. Might be the last flea market adventure for 2017 though. I made the paper again, and it was on Facebook. Start off with the girls and their fine Arkambella and Dallas's haul, uh, Snow White, Entourage, uh, Desperate Housewives, which I'm actually watching and enjoying, Arkham got a jumper, and uh, my baby's eating mush. And now on to my stuff, all my pickups from that Friday and Saturday of last week. Dollar each, all the DuckTales 3 volumes. I hope it's all the episodes because I really liked that as a child. A couple of PS3 games. Uh, Disney Infinity 2.0 starter pack. I have a few of these. They trade pretty well and I grabbed it for $5. Target clearance. I always check their clearance there and at Walmart in the States. These are Gears of War 4 characters. Kate and JD. Again, for $5, the mini fake knockoff uh, NES. It's got 620 games installed in it, all emulation. I hope it works really well. And then the NES games. Dragon Warrior for 5 bucks in the States. Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse, $8 again in US currency. Nintendo Golf, 5 bucks here in uh, Canada. Darkwing Duck as part of a bundle, about $45. I didn't mind splurging because I really wanted it. I got this Toho Bandai Mecha Godzilla for $14.95. That's what was on the tag. This huge Unicron, not complete, but the 2003 Hasbro version, $15. And then along with them, $5 each for both of them. This is Optimus Primal from Beast Wars. Missing his face, I gotta find that, the gorilla face. And then the uh, Trans Metals, Beast War, Optimus Primal. Missing his weapons, but looks good. Soundwave, 1983, I think he's got everything. And then the 81 He-Man and the 83 Orko and Battle Cat. Uh, this is as complete as I can tell. And man, this is a blast from the past. I had all of these when I was a child, back in like 85, 86. I had all the He-Man that you can name. And for your viewing pleasure. I don't apologize for that whatsoever. Tim Hortons hockey cards, a dollar a pack with coffee. I'm going to collect these. Again, I got the uh, flying uh, Koopa Troopa, the Paratroopa. $2 uh, completes the collection of four. $5 Mass Effect Andromeda, the Prima strategy guide. I still want to like this game. I'm going to try it again. Robocop trading cards for free. 
the 89 Toy Biz Batmobile. Now, it's missing uh, a door or the trunk door on the back, but uh, it cleans up really nice. It looks awesome. I'm excited to have this. And keeping with Batman, I found Arkham Knight on the Xbox One for $5 back in the States in that pawn shop. And then for the Videotron 2 for 22 deal, I grabbed Darksiders and Devil May Cry. I'm definitely looking to play both of them soon. Probably after this though, Titanfall 2, the Deluxe Edition. I found this in the American Walmart for $15 sealed. Was it that bad that it's that cheap? And finally guys, a box Nintendo Virtual Boy. This was from last week right before the expo. I picked it up for $3. Probably the score of the summer. And that's going to do it for this episode, guys. It's probably, like I said, going to be the last uh, Flea Market Adventures for 2017. But, you know, um, maybe we'll get another warm October day or November. So keep your fingers crossed. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Loxness Monster signing off, and uh, I'll see you next week.